Target at the start, and then winning the team fight just through a numbers advantage. It could be tricky for G2 to get to that scaled position. I, I will say, you've got Gragas ultimate, you've got Lee Sin kick, you've got Lissandra CC, you've got Charging Picard. your Q on enemy champions, or getting executions with your E, uh, or, you know, getting shutdowns and such. So, for the moment, a little bit difficult as Chasey flashes away in the top lane, stunned up with the Spectral more underneath the tower. He will get taken out in the end. It's Broken Blade who takes the kill. Great gank set up there from Yike. Chasey got caught napping a bit. The wave's pushing oh, towards. He's recalling right now. Maybe he's calling the play off. Could just be waiting for a moment Ooh. as well. Mickey puts the lantern down. Han Summer grabs it. Will be forced away from the tower. Loses about half a plate, three quarters of the plate. Shouldn't be the whole tower plate falling as of yet. As Kazi and Hillisang unable to do that last bit of chip damage. But you can see Cap's already roaming from the mid lane. Elioya Ooh. hooked. That's the lollipop if I've ever seen one, and it doesn't taste too good for Elioya. In fact, it tastes like death. Misty now caught out, pops a ring of frost, flashes the wall to get away, but the astral flight from Caps Caps. will chase them. Yike's gonna dash back forward as they look for a little bit more. The stolen safeguard acting as a deterrent as Mad Lion's here. Trying to make sure that G2 look for a fight. Chasey's gonna have to escape from the top side as the slicing mouse comes out. Chasey, no flash and nowhere for him to go. Yike and Broken Blade should just be able to chase him down. The happy hour healing him a little bit, but the Spectral Maw finds its mark. Ends up giving away another kill to G2. Once again, the while Yoya hovering around mid, looking for a play. Could go for the war jump flash kick. That's the stun. Frozen Tomb coming out. Elioya dashes forward. Dodges the falling star. There's the kick. Elioya perfectly played to escape the clutches of caps under the tower. Yike arrives, but the mid jungle are out. Mad Lions maybe looking for a bot dive into two. Two in with the quickness. They're looking just to isolate Hunt Summer. They'll take him down. Mickey Lowe as well. Hillisang taking the tower. The hook dodged by Hillisang superbly. And now Mickey down to 100 HP. Hillisang tanks it. Might fall, but in the end, he's got the grand entrance to make a perfect exit for Mad Lions. Nine minutes in, and the Mad Lions are alive, aren't they? 2v2 dive in the bot side. They finally get this mid jungle rolling. It was falling out of their hands. <laughs> Don't get baited, crap. More, and they had a kill. Very close. Very, very close from the Mad Lions. Was punishing Mickey there. Oh, Cash trying to get away the Ring of Frost into the Frozen Tomb, into the kick. Sonic Wave, a resonating strike to follow. El Yoya gets another in the mid lane, and Cash is 0 2. I mean, this is the strike in the mid lane. He's constantly looking for a window to roam up towards top. He's now on the move, and Cash will be forced to follow. It's a bit awkward for Matt because Karzi doesn't have sums, so it's really hard for him to step up. But like you said, let's track those mid laners in the river. I think a fight might kick off around there if one of them doesn't decide to pull the trigger and get out. But who wants to get out first? It's a game of chicken. Himself. Has the flash. Flame choppers go down. There's the knock up with the Pregnant Scale Force forward as well. Hansama holds both his summoners apart from the ghost has already used that. Hansama underneath the tower is ignited. Now Kazi having to get away with the feather caller. Oh, and he's knocked down. Caps takes him out. And Caps is on the chase. Hillisang has to dash away. Mad Lions, one man down, decide they don't want any more part of that fight. The skirmish breaks out as. Mad Lions thought that they had caught Han Summer off guard. But G2 were very quickly able to respond, protect their AD carry, and convert it into a kill. They're looking for one more play, and now they have their eyes on Caps. Flash, Frozen Tomb, and knock up Sonic Wave. Caps locked up. The rest of his team had left him to his own device. Like they're shining bright. Wait, so, top yeah. lane exists? Oh, it, it only does because it's in bot lane. Okay, that's why Hillisang's ganking Broken Blade right now. The Slicing Mouse are coming out. The Sun's gonna land. Broken Blade underneath the tower. Super Mega Death Rocket coming in as well. Chasey's low, but already Broken Blade has fallen. Caps trying to come in with a falling star, and he does manage to kill off Chasey. Elioya dashing back forward. A huge shot down to Caps. He's picked up. Two kills on this fight alone, flashes away from the feathers, and now Yike is on the chase. Hillisang and Kazi should be able to escape this. You have enough tools, you've got the flash, you've got the cleanse. Hilly can dash, do exactly what it does. The play coming out though, Kazi now locked up under the tower, and G2 perfectly juggle it to make sure they get one more on the ball. And we see it right there, the overconfidence of Mad Lions in the 4 on both sides. Chemtech Drake helping out Mad Lions a little bit, those Scryer's blooms. A little bit easier as the hook connects onto Chasey. He pops down the explosive of cars. Mickey's knocked into the team as the top laner for support trade so far. Broken oh. Blade though, TP'd on the wave, knocked back immediately. Cars are trying to fight off towards the top side, but already a double. Yike going for more as he stuns up Hilly. Glacial part of the wave, that's three. Looking for more as Yike continues to dash forward. A heartbreaker and another name to the list. It's a triple for Yike. G2 just dismantled and dissected Mad Lions. Five for one, they managed to find us. Put himself in a bit of an awkward situation. He can just put that slicing mouse down for some zone control. Hillisang looking for one. Niski coming in from the side as well. They're trying to catch on Sava, but he flashes over the wall. Eddie Oya, the sonic wave wide. And now Hillisang's locked up in that slicing mouse. And Niski pops a stopwatch, but you have to feel G2 will just collapse upon him. And Summer gets another caps knocked back, flashes the wall once again. Feathers fly from Kazi, but underneath the tower, you just can't do anything. A double for Hans. He opens up onto El Yoya. 
and underneath that turret, Mad Lions are battered and bruised. Yeah, Mad Lions tried their final attempt. Ooh. Broken Blade almost takes El Yoya down, and they're going to pick up the Baron here, G2. I think that was one of the last attempts they'll get in this game here, Mad Lions. They knew they had to force on that mid wave, but a couple things went wrong. Hilly missed the knock up onto Hans Sama. He hit it onto Mickey, and then El Yoya couldn't land the Q to follow up, and then Niski was all alone in the middle of G2. It's a situation where Mad. They tried to use that burst. Objective. Yep. Like, it unlocks the map a lot. It's a great way to actually siege this midtown, particular flagship from Chasey. Oh. oh, the explosive cost not quite where he'd want it to be. Hans now opening up with a zap, and they've got the stun, and they're locking him down. Chasey, though, Yike has to pop a stopwatch. Caps is coming in. The skies will descend in a second as the slicing maelstrom has already been used. Niski oh, here they come. And here come the skies. Chasey hit with a comet. And what is more fitting for a valiant soul than to smack a meteor into someone's backside? He takes another in the base, and G2, 4-1 to one to the good, will push in for the win. G2 wipe mad off the map once again, and they're looking for a sub-30 minute win. In this best of what, five, G2 came to play, and they're looking strong. And it seems like it may be a repeat of the Winter Finals. Mad Lions were routed then. And in this game, although they showed a few signs of life, G2 have knocked them to the dirt. On the fountain, Elioya falls. G2 will pick up another kill before they end it, but that's 1-0 to the good. Great start for G2. Mad Lions had the game in their hands a couple times there, and although they didn't break the game fully wide open, they didn't have a couple plays to put them in a winning position, but G2 defended one of their plays so fantastically well, and then they just took over. On top of that, the next Dragon fight where Mickey landed that hook that you highlighted, Vedius, it was from that point onwards that I think the lead was just so comfortably in G2's favor that Mad Lions... A lot of Casio so games. He, <laughs> Caps was around 1,000 LP, 1,200 LP. He won 22 solo queue games in a row since they lost that series, <laughs> with a win rate of about 40 to 7 or something. Right. And now we and they are just taking in spot crab here for Yike. So, disaster averted for both sides. Caps will try and get this wave in. This team will try to stop him though. Caps gonna get knocked back. Elio's on the way here. Caps slow, no way out. Really caught him. Whoa. Flash hit him. Niski takes burst blood and a solo kill. Well played. And Caps just falling short to an easy kill for Niski. Uh, just picks it up, punishes him. Meanwhile, Mickey locked up for a second. And Yoya coming in as well. The thick skin trying to save Mickey. He flashes away. And Yoya can't find the Sonic Wave. Picardi finds the damage. Safeguard gives the assist over to El Yoya. And Mad once again winning out the bot lane. All right, Mad finding so many more advantages in the early game this time round. Punishing even more so in the two versus two. And finally, El Yoya able to have a little bit more impact on that. Now they're threatening the dive. And Summer has the ghost, uses it. Flashes away from the knockup. Kazi tanks the tower. Tanks oh, two no. shots. Oh, oh no. Summer scalings arrived. He loses the wave, oh. but he gets two kills out. Oh, of it. Han Summer now ticking over to six. Hellasang looking Both for a play. Caps no back. Petrifying keys mid air. The Miasma coming down as well. Hellasang can dash forward though. Caps trying to trade in with the Conqueror. Dash back by Hellasang. Didn't want to engage any further. And he is snuck behind Broken Blade though. And with a slicing Maelstrom, he doesn't even have time to use his summoners. The this play is... is clean. Very clean from Chase. He still had the flash of the ultimate combo is good. Yike. There's an advance going in. Yike's going to sap some magic. But Niski with the happy hour can heal up. The sapling over here. Niski realizes he needs to go the long way down towards the bottom lane. Now Hellasang coming up, but so's the Tom Kenjin. Mickey can abyssal voyage in. Niski, where you going? Locked up by Yike, the knock back with the Bramble Smash, and Hans Summer gets his third kill of the game. Hilly has to flash, and G2 find one on the bot side. Niski was looking for a little bit of vision there, but Yike's yeah, quick champion of the split at the top, and then the teams that qualify on the bottom. Abyssal voyage coming in. You were right, Betty. We do not have time to talk about that. We'll leave that to the nerds on the AD, as Niski is locked up, and the Super Mega Death Rocket comes out. As a result of that, Hellasang trying to slow their rotation down towards the bot lane. But four kills on Han Summit. The crack is there complete. And El Yoya gets the kick, the slicing mouse from Broken Blade. Back is broken as Mad Lion slam him into the floor. It's clean. Do they don't it's the type of skill names that fans get really confused yeah. why you keep saying that. Oh, Han Summit oh, force root, but Han Summit almost gets away in the end. Kazi, though. Solo kills in the bot lane, that was beautiful, and now the Rift Herald comes down as well. No TP for camps means they cannot react. This is going to be full five plates in the bot lane to Mad Lions. Wow. That was nice. That was, that was a mechanical masterclass from Karzi. Q also the opportunity to scale up, and we thought Hunt Summer would become a problem, but Karzi with a great play, able to bounce back. Mad now with four members mid. Explosive cast going down, the Sonic Wave already used by Leo, the Pedifying Games only lands onto two, and Caps is locked up, and nowhere for him to go. Mad Lion, seven kills to four up, four and a half thousand gold ahead at 13 minutes.
Top tower is going to start taking some damage as well. Chase is going to get some plates before they fall off. G2 are going to get themselves a dragon, but... I don't think they're going to get any more off that second one. Karzi has the flash. It's a little bit too far forward. Didn't really expect Broken Blade to come in. Can pull the feathers back, but he's locked up. He gets the root with the flash forward, but perhaps a little bit too greedy there from Karzi. Went for the plates, did get them, but then thought he could get a kill out of it as well. Yeah, overstayed his welcome just a little bit. And G2 were able to punish Hillisang, maybe in danger. Abyssal Voyage forward from Mickey, looking for Hillisang to jump over the wall. Hans Summer's going to get locked up here for a second, and Hillisang will dash away. The Grand Entrance coming down onto Mickey now, because he's going to have to flash the wall to try and get away. The Thick Skin used, but there's the Dragon's Rage kick, and Mickey's locked up, and Hillisang takes his life. Chasey fought. Mad Lions know where Broken Blade is, because no one else really could have placed that while invisible. The Dragon started, Cab stepping forward, Hillisang looking for something. Cab's not back, the Pedophile Gates doesn't find anyone. A good route, though, onto Hillisang means that he can't really engage, and Hans Summer opens up with Super Mega, De Super Mega Death Rocket. Come on, oh! Oh! He swings around, he finds his mark, and the... Uh, <laughs> the Akshan... Whoa, 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 whoa. Where he gets chain CC'd. Then he dashes away to his uh, Zaya, I believe it is, just dashes away with the E after the rocket comes through. Now watch Hilly here. He's going to run forwards in a second in front of Karzi and get hit. So I think maybe something <laughs> may be wrong with his peripheral or something, because I'm sure he didn't want to do that intentionally, right? Obviously, Karzi was supposed to be there to block. And then G2, Broken Blade, comes across with the, the portal. At 18.46 in the game, Matt Hillisang paused to report a potential bug relating to Akshan's ultimate resulting in his death. League officials have confirmed the bug, offered a chrono break to Mad Lions, which they have accepted. The While they just did to get that numbers advantage because Mad Lions are holding this line. It's going to be a hot drop as we look for that fight. Cap's trying to step forward, a barrel in his way. Camp's going in. We've seen this play before. Chasey gets the stun across the wall. Explosive cast. Devour already used. Now G2 yep. have to back away. Mad Lions find exactly the disengage they were looking for. Keep G2 funneled in that choke and will secure their first dragon. Right. Especially onto Yike now with no flash. Get that kill. That's an easy Baron. Oh, this Broken is smart Blade. from Chasey. Broken Blade will see where oh the wave my. is and think he's safe, but he is not. Chasey slices him down. This is part of the risk. If Caps is unleashed in a fight, is a serious threat. Mad Lions will now force the Baron, though. They want G2 to come into them. No ultimate available on Yike. Yeah, no flash either. So if he wants to steal this, he's going to have to get in the pit. Mad Lions are ready for the turret. For the turret, Hillisang's waiting for him to walk up and try and steal it, because they're going to instantly jump on the Maokai. Karsi's low, though. Look at the damage already down to Caps. So Pedifying Gaze, there's a the slicing Maelstrom, and all they wanted really was the fight. Kamalton's coming out, but he doesn't find his mark. Caps chasing down towards the bottom side. Chasey pops the stopwatch, and Ioya trying to get in. But look at how low Hillisang and Karsi are. Chasey able to flash across the wall. Nature's Grass tanked up. By Elioi, uh, by Niski, sorry, Elioi jumping across with the Hex Gates. Mad Lions, they walk away. Hot Summer and Caps are quite far away. This might just be gone. Already down to 5,000 HP. Yike, no flash, as you say, no Blast Cone for him either. And that will be Baron secured, you have to feel. Elioia takes it. Baron for Dragon Soul. He takes damage from the W, he takes damage from the ult. Hans Summer's poked him out. And Chasey's ult here is a bit. It looks good initially. Hang on a second, Chasey. Slicing Maelstrom, but Yike and Mickey are here. Broken Blade coming in as well. There's the TP. Chasey doesn't have a stopwatch anymore, and he's already shut down by Broken Blade. Nitsky coming in to try and help something happen, but his top lane is already dead, and so he did bit by bit. They are getting a bit more of a grip, but still going to be a struggle for them as the game goes on. Nitsky looking for Broken Blade. Yike and Hansama have worked their way through Vision here. Explosive cast back, but Nitsky is soon going to be met by three members of G2. The Flame Chopper's down. There's the root. There's the Nature's Grasp, and Nitsky caught out in a side lane by G2. They're going to get another tower off that as well. Niski's job there was to wave clear while the rest of them pick up this dragon. So now they've given a kill over to G2 and a second mm -hmm. tower. That's another gold injection. Niski can't afford to make oh, those G2 are going to have to move into them. Caps is bots right now, even tanking the tower. So he might need to base before this TP in. And he's going to do so. Tier one down. Does Yike steal? Nature's Grass, Flash Smite. He could oh, look for it. Two mega really Death coming in. There's Nature's Grass with a knockback with the explosive cast. Keeps him at bay. It will be a tier one in the bottom lane and a tier one in the mid. 4G2, they might try and keep Mad Lions around here for just a second. Everyone oh, flash. Flash. Yeah. these towers, they know G2 need to base. Baron buff improves your minion's movement speed by a net of the champions around it. So Shirelius increases them as well. Yike, no flash. Remember, the quickness going to find him. And he's going Timbo in the jungle. Karsi flashing forward, immediately met with the exhaust. Caps trying to get in with the pedophile. Oh, but well, Chasey keeps him at arm's length, keeps him at bay. Karsi pops up with the Feather Storm broken blade, sliding and gliding in with a heroic charge. But there's not going to be enough as the jigs already fallen. And Karsi is still alive in the end, shut down by Caps. Karsi got a double, and Yoya hits the summon wave, the call of the Q. But into the Miami. It took a little bit longer than Mad Lions would have wanted, but they managed to close the game out against G2. It looked like Yike got caught off to the side, and then... 
What? Not again. 32 27. G2 Broken Blade paused the game, reporting a bug with his W not proccing, which may have resulted in Tom Kench reviving. League officials are reviewing. Now, League officials have confirmed that it is not a bug, and we will be playing on the game. I wonder Thank who's going to win. Yeah. Mad Lions, 4v0 on the Nexus. <laughs> who's going to do it? Let's hot drop yeah. into this one. Action Because this is going to be the quickest end ever. Oh, oh my, my god, god, the game just started! Madness! Action can only revive. Look at Niski! While he's alive. He's sweating. And he oh, wasn't no. alive. Right. So there we go. That's the end of the game. Mad Lions! One and one now in the series. And uh, it was, you know, the pauses obviously took a little bit of the wind out of Mad Lions' sails. However, yeah. it was a very strong performance from But the thing is, that Broken Blade play, as much as it was a bug, that was an insane play. And if that yeah. actually like didn't get Chrono Break or the vision was correct in a sense, even if he... One invade would just oh. split mapping and, and kind of pressure with Darius and, and, and Ben. Darius goes in some way level one. Pretty much, this yeah. top lane matchup is probably not playable if it's just a stale game, especially if Velvet has to go bot side at some oh, he's point. He's going to step back in once again. Half HP on the Belveth doing quite a lot of work, and he's been so impactful on this Belveth across the course of the LEC. But there's the knock-up, Yikes stunned up, uses the E to try and get a bit of extra healing. One more order would be enough, and Yoya has to flash away, but Yikes can't back out. First blood, try and follow Yoya, Broken Blade coming in as well as Niski looks for the cask. Broken Blade doing a lot, has the red buff, has the blue as well, he trades on to Niski with a decimate, it's a double for the Darius, and now Chasey has to run, because that ghost is not stopping anytime soon. Another decimate. One more auto. Is it enough with the red buff with the bleed? Ooh. Should be all right there, no. Chasey, but Broken Blade saves the wow. day. Wow. Exchange. Stun lands. Hook onto Mickey. Niski can't really come across, but Elioya can. Mickey flashes. Flash forward from Hillasang, looking for the stun with the Fury of the North. Now Elioya's having to get away from Hansama, who dashes across the wall and has already got the kill. Niski dying off towards the top side as well. Hansama's going to get two out of this, and Niski's fallen as well. It's superb for G2. They find three kills in the fray. Hilly thought that Elioya had flash. He went over that wall expecting the Sejuani to come with him and proc the E and get that kill, but he didn't have flash. So Hilly may be overestimating how many resources the jungler of Mad Lions had next to him. And committing to that fight and G2 punish it. Wow, G2 continue to dominate the early game whenever Yike gets his hand on this pick. Chasey, Chasey though goes in, gets good damage on the caps. Yike looking for an endless banquet, but Yoya's on his way. Niski gets the stun, they oh, knock him away. Oh no. He hasn't got any more dashes, there's no way he gets away from this one. And Yoya just needs a couple of autos, and Yike will fall to the mad jungle. Broken Blade, no summoners on the Darius, remember. It will be spotted on this control ward. Chasey, shock blast across the wall, does find his mark, flashes forward as well. And Niski with the explosive cast keeps Broken Blade against the wall. The hemorrhage, four stacks, not enough. Fifth out juice in the bottom lane is Yike caught out now. The Glacier Prison's gonna lock him down underneath the tower, and he will pay. But his huge. Of Mickey's health. Yeah, keep your eyes out for the Sejuani ult into hook combo as well. Hiding in a bush here. No, no. The Annie, the Tibbers, the stun, the lockdown is enough to kill off Chasey. Yike will collect his royal mouse on the hook onto Mickey, locks him up though and he'll fall. Ooh. Caps flashing forward with the stun as well as Yike can look to dash across oh. the wall. Niski coming in the back line, hunts on his life with the immortal shield, but keeps him alive. Yike trying to do the damage, but he's going to be locked up underneath the tower and cards. He should be able to take him out. The shield, not enough. Molten will make him fall. Super Mega Death Rocket coming out and he lands another hook, a double in the end for Kazi. Mads do it again, three for two. The fight did not look good whatsoever from the get-go. Chasey instantly getting blown up. They're going to lose a couple waves. Insane play there from Hinesang. There's always the risk as well when Kazi starts getting excited on the Jinx. And Yoya caught here though, locked up, has to flash. Yike trying to put the damage down with that Royal Maelstrom. In the end, the Ritterald will reset. Mad Lions get a bit more time with the tower in the middle, but the Tibbers stun on two. And Yoya Radiant Virtue is enough to heal him up. The knock-up though is going to chase them in as Chasey's getting locked down. Broken Blade coming in for the side. Can he get in range? Yes! Bring down the axe! The Noxian Guillotine finds one. The hook's going to land as well. But now Kazi has to face off with Caps, who's coming in with a stun. G2 look for more. Caps now isolated from the rest of his team. He'll be locked up. Kazi goes on a killing spree. It's a bloodbath. 17 kills in 16 minutes here. G2 want to start up this Herald. Kazi's pretty healthy though. Niski doesn't have Askex to the ult. Uh, Yike's pretty low. Maybe they look for some kind of 3v4 here. They could also look for a mid tower. Yep. But Niski fancies himself something. No ultimates. The no HP flashes. on G2. And Yoya nice. smites it and Yike loses it. And now Kazi comes in. The knockup from this game of TP coming in as well as G2 trying to retreat to their tower. It still stands at the top lane, but perhaps their lives will not do the same. One lockdown and Kazi is getting excited. And Berlin's getting excited for him too. A shutdown for Kazi is mad. They get
waiting to open up. Looked up though, Chasey's dead. What? He chased Mickey. He got the kill. It's another three kills over to Matt. Chasey's TP managed to chase Mickey down. Two. Flash Tibbers is ready. Just needs a bit of vision to work with. The Mad Lions know he's here. Niski senses some kind now of do, now flank. Do Caps is by himself. He doesn't even get a chance to call in the bear. A crying little child finds his makeup. And Mad Lions, because they spotted out Caps, will take the dragon. Their third of the game, 19 minutes in. They're on sole point. And they have the gold lead. Glacial Pistol no gonna land. Flash hook again. Mad Lions, 13 kills to 10 up. Mad are just clips Mana Mune. They've started. Almost three items complete on Kazi as well. Baron has been begun. Broken Blade is in the bot side river. No TP. It's a 4v4. Yeah, yikes. Jiski's on the flank. The Broken Blade's on his way up. They look for one. They catch Han Samo and he is down. Kazi. Beginning to see the win in his eyes as Yike tries to get in from the back of the pit, but even with Flash, can he do it? The Baron down to two and uh, three thousand, two and a half now. My oh. first is into the wall! And what a comedy of errors has been for the Melvet this game! Kazi flashes away, gets excited, Yike's gonna die up towards the top side. That's another as Caps falls, and G2 just walks to their demise as Mad Lions clean them up. G2 is obliterated at the hands of Mad. Five for zero. E flash flank onto Hans, instantly blew him up. Nothing he could do. 4v5 from the get-go. Hook. Ooh. Hans hooked again, and Chasey will bring down the hammer. Mad Lions on a tear. Hitler sang at the start of the game. His hooks were a little wide. He, he missed one on a stun target. He just... <laughs> on the bot tier three, the inhibitor tower already chunked out just a little bit, but it's only... Minions hitting it as of yet. Kazi trying to step forward. Does have the rapid fire cannon. Zap goes wide, but now oh, Caps, Caps flash Timbers lands it on two lands it on Kazi, and Caps finds the shutdown. Broken blade on the advance. Yike looking for more. It's Niski's caught up towards the top side. Very tanky on the dragon. It's getting towards that blast cone. Knocked by Yike, but back towards the red buff. Elioya trying to body a body mark. Man mark oh, here as Yike is pulled in. Hillasang static deals his way to another kill. Broken blade stepping forward, but Mad wanna, might want to turn this one around. The only risk. Obviously, is a stun, is Hun Summer. The lightning crash still available, and Mad will retreat. No extra attack speed for the Belveth because of that, and they will forfeit this bot lane inhibitor. Hillisang, flash hook, lands it on Broken Blade. The flame has come down as well, and Broken Blade is popped where he stands. Hit Mickey, taken out as well. The Glacial Prism not even needed. Three items on Kazi. These rockets starting to do a lot of work. Oh. Is just short? Is but it over? Blast still oh, Niski, Niski goes in. Caps locked up. There's one. Yike in the midst of them all will fall as well. Only Hans Summer survives and not for long. As Mad Lions find five and they will take themselves to match points. And just like that, 25 minutes in. Mad trying to make up for lost time as they smash G2 and got a match point. A bit of a rocky start, but what a game. They ran away with those skirmishes. You say 25 minutes, I say 36 kills. That was non-stop back and forth from base fighting over objectives. Shout out to Hilly though, turn it around from those early hooks and he built the Everfrost on Blitzcrank and LPL Classic, Mako and On are the same kind of players that run that build. Hook into knock up into Root and the chain CC is great. Mad Lions is going to suck. Wait, the Nocturne 2v2s... This, this, was, this, it, was it Doinby? Was it, there was it someone was really LNG, It was LNG, Arla and Doinby yes. uh, at Worlds 21, I Where think. Where they would just pick Nocturne. Oh. I know. Against Fnatic. <laughs> Quick stats. Yeah. Yike, yike, look yike. at something. Oh, yike. yike goes yeah. in. Chasey's gonna knock him up. Broken Blade. He's gonna die. Electric Surge is forward. Chasey on the chase. Yike does get a double knock back here. How long Able to survive seat? for the moment with the flash forward from Elioya. Crushing blow finds his mark. Queue? One more order would be enough. Chasey finds him with the belly bomb. Misky coming in for the flank position here, and Hillasang has worked his way up from the bot lane as well to make sure that Elioya and Chasey can get out alive. They will survive. First blood over to Matt. Very, um, aware as to how he decides to use it. Yike will get that dragon. That's a flash. Is it though? Oh, is it? With Mickey they can coming across. The bot lane. Yeah, they Looking to try and get level six. And Paranoia can come across. Oh. Yeah, Mickey just hits level six. There's the Nature's Grass. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Hans Summer's going to try and trade him to Kazi. Rift Tail down to 1,500 HP. The Nature's Grass has hit on the back line. Instead of saying it's forced away, it's smited, secured by G2. Kazi and Hans Summer trading down here. But Hans Summer wins out that G2 winning across the map. They get the Rift Tail, they get a kill. Broken Blade looking for a little bit more damage across the wall. Hillisan can flash Magnet Storm, but they decide against it oh. as Mad Lions disengage. Oh, Bibi had flash there. He had a nice ultimate setup off Maybe of Vision. Is... Pick off Hans Summer and Mickey going back to his wave, yeah. thinking that there's no fight to be had on this bot side. And he could surprise them. Magnus Storm. Elior goes in. There's a cyclone. There's a Magnus Storm. And there's Hans Summer locked up. But he flashes. He cleanses. He gets away. Super Mega Death goes wide. Nature's Grass being tanked there by Healy. As Elior pops another cyclone charm as well from Niski. 
does still have the flash and the spirit rush to get out of this. Mickey flashes, Aquaprism short, Paranoia coming out as well. It's a big ultimate now gone. The cool thing there where he popped the W and then he used his charm in the middle, hoping that one of the W Foxfires would actually proc the Cyclone shroud. being used in the mid lane. There's the tidal wave as well. Mickey locked up with the second Cyclone. Kazi flashing forward. He wants blood. He wants the kill. Crits on the hunt summer. But Adio is the first to fall. And now Kazi cleanses away underneath the tower. Hilly. Hilly. No flash. Paranoia coming out. And Kazi can't see anyone to hit. Yike will kill off Hillasang. And Kazi still stuck underneath his tower. Almost takes down Hunt Summer. Yike oh, flashes yike. forward. Twisted advance will get a double. Will pay for it with his life. G2 running away now with this early to mid game transition, managing to find some kills. No one that walks up, can't really see no sums either. Now look at this, G2 dropping the Herald mid, they're creating this point of pressure, Broken Blade on the flank! Slicing Maelstrom, decides not to use it, Hans Summer rooted for a second and Yoyo goes in, has the Cyclone but Hans Summer able to dash and flash his way away. Yike trying to do some more work here. The Magnus Storm's only going to catch on to him. He twisted advances forward and look at where Kazi is. Your damage is not with the fight, Mad Lions. And because of that, you are wiped away. G2 health bars topped up to the nines and Mad Lions lose three. I like what G2 did there. They went but towards... Yes, Flash. Hasn't used it yet. Broken Blade coming in. Flash stun. away. There's oh. the stun. Nature's Grass will find his man as well. Twisted advance used and Yike. Three, three and three across the board. Caps gets Niski's ult again. Charm doesn't land, would have got Spell. Walk up now. It's, it's really hard to contest the wave as, as Niski's gonna have to sit on his tower and catch If there it. wasn't a tower, oh, Caps Hilly. could kill him. Hilly looking for something, but Hans Summer able to dodge away from the Magnus Storm. The culling going through as well, and Hilly is down. Kazi now having to retreat as the TP comes in. Paranoia used as well. Kazi, no summoners and no life left. Alioya pops the clone to get away, but Broken Blade can still chase further in. Will they use the enhanced cone? They'll get knocked back. <laughs> A bouncy castle in the jungle, and in the end, it's still to go towards a barren start. I'm trying to steal away the red first. And Summer secures it. Elio looking for something. Hillasang in a good position to jump in here, and you can sense that he wants to do it. Has the flash. Yike goes forward. Nature's cross. Elio knocked back. The cyclone coming out as well. Kazi tries to open up on the tree, but that is a very big oat. Hans Summer will kill off Hillasang down towards the bottom side. Paranoia being used as well as Yike takes down Kazi. And Yike still full HP. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, a one for one trade occurs just to make sure that Niski couldn't TP into the fight. Caps had had enough. Bridging his strength. But Mad is still looking to contest. As long as Elioya is alive, there's a world where they can Broken challenge. Blade has ult. Broken Blade has ult. Broken Blade finds Elioya, stuns him up. The clone not enough to save his life as Broken Blade finds the jungle up. And now the Baron well and truly oh, secured oh. for G2. Good sidestep as well. The Everfrost still coming out. Broken Blade just opening up onto Chase, the explosive cast. Shuriken oh, just wide. Oh, oh, oh. Zazonius was used to make a death rocket. Oh! Does oh, hit Broken Blade! Hell. But he was healed and he was topped up by Mickey. Hilly tried to get him as well, just thinking maybe he could yeah. steal. Great reaction from Mickey Three. on the heel. G2 is looking to do the same. Gentlemen, it looks like we're going to five games. It looks like that we will be going all the way between our two champions. Two. It was, uh, it's been a situation where Mad Lions. They've struggled this year against G2. Caps no flash. He's walking up the wave. Hilly misses. Caps dodges to the side. Goes back in with the paranoia. Now Caps will die here. For sure. And the mid lane tower goes down as well. G2 pushing four members strong down towards this bottom side. Will try though to open up the inhibitors at least. Kazi still pushing through mid. Objective bounties are the name of the game here for Mad Lions. They're going to lose an inhibitor tower for it. Kazi though can shred through these towers pretty quickly on the Jinx. Only one and a half items though means his damage a little bit muted for this portion of the game. Though two towers do fall for an inhibitor and two towers in the bottom lane. Yeah, he's looking at a flank here or some kind of just chase down here from G2. They don't have yeah, vision. on his way as well. They don't have a oh, blue or either, but they've got the Scryer's bloom. Where are you going, Kazi? How are you going to get out of this one? Broken Blade comes in and Kazi Good night, is left to his own devices. <laughs> Broken Blade takes him out and G2 get another. Broken Blade is on the hunt. It's it's like is it a to a gallop as he tries to escape. Bombs oh, the blast Oh, he's seen on a Caps. Caps, man, your former teammate and you do Ooh, it the like blast this. Code, no, the blast the tech, code, the tech. and he takes it. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, Spare the damage. Comes out, Niski. Able to use the three charges to escape. Hilly still distracting G2. Run, Hilly, run! <laughs> oh, Hex Flash. Gets across the wall. No, no Caps. No, oh, that's not gonna Come work. on, Caps. Let him live. Let him go back to base. So Hilly's flank ended up in their base. <laughs> Lose the game right now. He's getting five men aced under a tower. Losing Nash and then being able to fight Elder. Mad. Just gonna have to give that one up. I can see 
Chasey spam pinging Elder Dragon, so they're probably just saying, right, Broken let's give this up. He's on a ward, he's on a ward, he's on a ward. This could be massive for Mad Lions. He's on a ward, the charm misses. Goes wide, the Cyclone is going to hit the Slicing Master coming out from Broken Blade. Oh my god. Cyclone follows up to make that target. It's a one for one in the end, but it could have been so much more for the Mad Lions. Oh, if they got that kill, 30 seconds on the Elder, it could have been. It was him being found on the Annie flank this time. It's Alioya being found, Blast Cones twice. Actually should be able to get away from this one, but the paranoia will chase him down and Caps is going to get the fear and that stays on the clone through it all. Caps chases down Elioio and takes out the jungler. Meanwhile in the mid lane, Hunt Summer's opening up with the culling. Explosive cars knocks him back closer. Kazi tries to step forward, but he can't even kill the fish. And Mad Lions locked out of their own mid lane. Hunt Summer oh, flashes, dashes. Still has the GA and Yike will tank it. A triple for the Maokai. And a game win and a game five for us. What a stomp by G2. Mad managed to end the last game in 25 minutes. G2, yes, just 30 minutes, but it's 22 kills to six. Mad haven't stood a chance for the last 20. And we're going to a game five. Loser is out. Winner goes on to tomorrow to face up against Vitality. What a bounce back from G2. We've seen some pretty crazy games today, but game three, game four, both were stomps for Mad and G2 respectively. And now it all comes down to this fifth and final game. Mad Lions found themselves in this exact same position against SK last split. The impact on the Cassio or the Jace and these matchups where they fall behind, Pike can find a lot of value. Ezreal is a champion that will be sufficient always, and I think it will all come down to how well can the No way is it decided by a 5v5 ball. Oh my god. Gentlemen, hold your horses. You're not going to hit the hook. They're going to hit the hook. Oh my god, look at the damage to Jace. But he gets the push back. He's going to take it. Game 5, we'll go down this time. Jace is going to die. 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 CC available, Hilly's under the tower. Really low HP, if they see Hilly, they could go for the dive, but he's gonna regen with the passive, gonna use the hook Ooh. to stop the base of Hans. And then we come. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome, Welcome to, to game, game five. five. <laughs> trying to look for a top gank. If Chasey can get to level three, yes, he does. They could for setup, oh, but the Broken Blade has phase rush. Oh, he oh, don't goes in, big. though. They're looking for the stun now. Broken Blade does have phase rush and has the flash, but he's stunned up. Dead. Holding the flash, doesn't use it, and he's dead. Top die in the first quarter. The Raptors and Red are up, but Hillisang will collapse. He hasn't taken a base here, and he will be faster too. than Mickey. No EQ, no flash. Needs to be careful here, Yike. He can smite away this big one, but he's actually saving it. If he Qs Nisky. here, he's probably going to die. Yeah, going to try and keep Nisky around, but there's the stun. There's the lockup of Kazi on the board. The response from Mad is right. now. G2 feel confident to force this one. Now Yoya will be spotted out. Hillisang though, looking to make a move. Hansama. Hansama does still have the flash here. There's the hook, but no one really here to follow up as of yet. Good damage from Kazi with that mystic shot. Caps on his way down now from Whoa. the mid lane. Hook Whoa. dashed away. That was about as close as you can get. <laughs> yeah. Hook wide again. More Mystic shots start to rain down, but they have to find their mark to find some damage. Elioya going in, so Mickey uses the clone. Miasma used as well. Dragon secured, Nisky level six, Mickey flashing away. Yike diving in, Mickey across the wall. There's a blast cone there for him, and Elioya can't get the damage with the crushing, crushing blow. Hansama has the flash, will have to expend it to get away from Mad Lion's collapse. A lot of flashes used Caps down as well. Caps here first. Both junglers level five. Chasey there to the fight first though. Level eight as well, no mana. Hans Rocket, Hans Rocket. Mega Death Rocket is gonna come through. Oh. Hits on to Healy and he falls. Smite secured as well by Yike. Gets in the level six. They can look for a little bit more here. The Super Mega Death Rocket doing well. Chasey and Elioia setting up down towards this bottom lane. Yeah, Chasey fake based. He pushed out Bolt and Broken Blade thinks that he's in base right now. So there's a window here where Elioia can go in. Yeah, just no flash. He has the face forward. rush. Elioia goes in. There's the Cyclone and Broken Blade is locked up. Knocked up and taken down by Man. Nice play there by Chasey who probably called Elioia down saying that I'm going to push out this wave. I look like I'm going to base, but I'm actually going to stand in this bush. Let's look for a pick. No flash. Good kill. Hilly. Hook goes down. Hilly locked up. Has the flash still. The depth charge. Super Mega Death Rocket not enough, but the ignite. Uh, the tick. For Mickey is no ignited on him, running exhausted. Easily and uncontested, but G2 are a bit split. Mickey's up towards his top side. Caps is going to be matched by Hans here. Caps has the flash, pulled back. Death can mark the spot, but Hilly doesn't want to use it until Caps flashes away. He's holding it in the end. He does find it. X marks the spot for Mad Lions. They get one, but Hans Summer starts to get excited. Hilly does have flash. Also has that Ghost Water dive to escape. I'm surprised. The aftershock Cap topping him oh, up. Chasey Blade. looking for Broken Blade up towards this top side. Does still have the flash. Jumps in, slicing match from Knocked Away. No stun on Broken Blade yet. And the rest yike, of the yike, team yike, are yike, to yike, yike. yike is here. Broken Blade. 
dodges the shuriken, but still gets taken down. So make that coming in as well, but Chasey just wide of it. Chasey has the flash on this cannon. Might just look to trade onto Yike. They try and gift this kill over to Han Summer if they can. There's the zap, there the flame jumpers, and there is the cannon getting zapped down by Han Summer. All kills continue to be funneled into Han Summer. Broken blade at the cost of his life. A target throughout this game is oh good ult. Good pet fine guys. The flash still there. Dev shot's gonna land. Explosive cast dodged by Cas, but he holds onto the flash still as the true shot barge mice finds his mark and Mickey is met with a minion as he tries to dredge line the ignite ticking is shut down over to Kazi now mad lines continue to open up as broken blade tp's in the rift held now begun by elioia side can even go towards the left hand side around the dragon pit but it looks like he's staying he he dodges away dead charge going down onto hillisang but already death from below as hillisang takes oh. one explosive cast coming in as well the dragon secured for the mad lions and look at where broken blade is compared to the rest of his team hillisang tried to dash forward but straight into the flame chompers mad lions will get one kill out of it get the dragon and get out great fight there by mad they don't overextend either. Like step forward. I mean, this base. hook doesn't really get you too much. Even if you hook on the TP, Ike is there. The TP behind as they look for caps up towards the top side. He's been knocked back. Flash not available for the Cassio either. There's the Cyclone to follow. Dead. And they're just isolating caps. He's dead, as you say, Kadrill. And locked out by the Mad Lions. Now Hilly looking for another hook. They open up on him, though, and they'll lock him down one for one so far. No this TP. TP's into the mid lane as Hans Summer now needs to work away away from this situation. The Flash, the Ghost, everything available. He dodges away from the explosive cast, and now he can open up on Niski. Down towards the bottom side, Niski is isolated. Super Mega Death Rocket Rocket. hits him in his head. And Buries him in the dirt. Kazi opens up though and gets one in response. And in the end, it's a two for two trade. Very messy Slowly fight. Slowly claim control of the top side as G2 cross map on the bot side. I think G2 are trying to buy time. Broken Blade getting slowed the by the Cyrildas. That's oh. so much damage. Broken Blade has to flash. True shot finds him. Oh. Doesn't quite do enough. 20 HP. His TP just came up as well. So Matt cannot go for a Baron rush. Really nice try they, there by Kazi. Manages to get Broken Blade's flash, but they might start it up anyway because Caps is pushing into this bot tier too. They need to get him to TP up to this just top gone. side to stop the pressure. Is the objective gone? Can yeah, Yike get there in time? there in time. There's no way Yike gets here. The smite will secure it. Yike flashes in, and now he's met with three members of the Mad Lions. Yike is down. Kazi is unstoppable. He dashes forward once again for another mystic shot. Finds the slow on Mickey, and Hillisang's looking for something. Mickey hits the wall with the hook. The counter hook goes wide. Chasey, Chasey, Death Chasey, 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 Chasey. On a slicing mouse of black position, gets onto Hunt Summer, but the exhaust is good. Hillisang dashing forward. Death from below, they're not low enough. Yet, but in the end, Hunt Summer will fall, and Mad Lions are way too healthy and way too hungry for the win. Mad Lions secured the Baron and will ace G2 with those death timers. They will at the very least break the base, but I wonder if they'll try to end the game right here, right now. Four seconds on Yike, 20 seconds on anyone else. They're pushing in. They have the S reel for the attack speed for the Ws. Niski's gonna try and zone away Yike. Karsi dashes forwards here. There's a cataclysm, but Yike has fallen trying to It's play. over. The minions going in. They've done it. Mad Lions heard you, and they raise a massive middle finger to the doubters. They want to claim the MSI spot for themselves. Lions make it happen, and you can see how happy the players are on your screens. In such a back and forth series, they managed to take G2 out of spring in a 3 2 fashion. Revenge for the Mad Lions, the 3 0 sweep of winter.